These are some of the modifications I like to make on the nose guide for these long bullets. You can see over here, uh, I like to bevel the edge of that tip lead-in slot. It makes the top of the slot a little bit wider, uh, easier for the tips of the bullets to fall in. I like to round the edge of this uh, portion of the nose guide. Just take a little razor knife and run across it back and forth to round it slightly. Uh, the notch, of course, to allow the bullet tips to come out sooner. And then you can see here I've, I've cut in a little bit uh, and made a little bit of a ramp right there. Um, you can kind of see it. There we go. Uh, it allows the uh, tips of the bullets to drop down a little smooth, more smoothly and not shake so badly when they hit the wire ramp. Uh, now, when you adjust this, you want, you want to adjust it so this portion of the tip lead-in slot is... Uh, uh, not quite to the back of the collator plate slot. I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. That way the tips of the bullets will absolutely always get in there and be moved out into the main portion of the slot and the basis will have a, lide, a wide ledge to slide across. Now here you can see the tip lead-in slot of the nose guide and how it doesn't quite hit the bottom of the collator plate slot but it's it's fairly close to it and the uh, cutout edge is about even with the uh, front portion of the collator plate. That's going to get a fairly large ledge for the base of the bullets to ride across, but the tips will be drawn into the main slot. Here you can see I've really flattened out the tip of that uh, flip ramp so that it's quite low, almost a sharp edge. Uh, you don't want a blunt edge there because the bullets will hit that blunt edge and then they'll get wrenched out of the collator plate. Now here's one of these uh, flip ramps that I've kind of touched up a little bit. I didn't quite get all of this off, but I, I removed that, uh, that first bump. Um, I probably round this a little bit more on the uh, inner edge than, than you guys do. It appears they're, they're scraping it off, which is good. Uh, for troublesome bullets, uh, I find that having a nice round inner edge right there and that, uh, that front bump removed seems to work well.